What's up YouTube family? You guys have asked for it, so I thought I'd deliver it. What motivates me? You, you, you can you can Alright, so this is going to be a little bit of a story time. Because when it comes to motivation, I'm not just talking about motivation in the gym. That's, that's very one dimensional. I'm talking about motivation within everything that you do. The gym is just a byproduct of your overall motivation and your outlook on everything. Life, everything. Okay, so for me, the motivation started when... <laughs> Get this, I was at parents' evening. We've all been to parents' evening, your parents come in, your parents come and talk to your teachers, your teachers say, how's your kids doing? Oh, they're doing great. Or, oh, they're doing terribly. Oh, he should drop out. This was just before my GCSE. Went to my parents' evening, mum came with me, my dad came with me, sister's waiting in the car, brother's waiting in the car, cool. And I'll never forget this, the teacher's name was Mr. Vinton. Yes, I'll name and shame. Mr. Vinton of Wallenham Secondary School. So, we sit down. He's like, okay, cool. Let's talk about Gabriel's progress. My mom's there. How's Gabriel doing? Is he doing okay? Um, okay, so Mr. and Mrs. Say, I'm gonna be blunt with you. I don't think Gabriel's ever going to amount to anything in life. I don't think he's going to pass his GCSEs and I don't think he'll go to sixth form or let alone university. I actually think he's just gonna be working in a corner store for the rest of his life. Sorry to swear, but are you f***ing kidding me? This is what you've chosen to say at parents' evening. Saying this, I haven't actually done anything wrong. You just have every ounce of hate towards me. So from this point, instant driver. It wasn't even like a hesitation. It was <laughs> because how dare you say to my parents and in front, of, in front of my parents and to me that you don't think I'll ever amount to anything. Who are you to say that? What, because I don't conform to the, to the usual crap education system and I do I like to do things a little bit differently so I'm shunned. What happens at this point is most people drop off, they take it as a big hit and they fall back never to get back up again. No, this was my opportunity to prove to everyone who even had an inkling of that thought that I was gonna do something. Lo and behold, nine GCSEs, went to sixth form, passed, went to university, got my degree. What can you say now? getting all heated up <laughs> with this conversation. But this is the thing, everyone is always gonna have something negative to say to you, about you, whatever, but it's the effect on what you use it to do that is gonna ultimately dictate your life. So don't let the negative comments put you down, rather so let them bring you up. Since then, I've had negative comments, I've had people telling me that I can't do this, I can't do that, while well, you're doing this. I've had people close to me say disrespectful things to me, but at the end of the day, I'm doing what I love and I'm progressing in what I love. So anything that you say to me isn't gonna knock me down because I'm hungrier than ever. Believe that. So my message to you before I close out this video is that negative energy that people force upon you, that negative energy that people ingrain into you. Because what most people do is they inflict negative energy on you because it makes them feel better. It makes them feel better about the crappy life that they're living. I went back to Wallingham Secondary School and I went to see if Mr. Vinton was still there. Yes, he's still there as a teacher in the secondary school, no progression. He's still the same position that he was before. Where have I gone? I've done things, I've been places that he probably can't even imagine. So take the energy, take the energy and let it drive you forward. Don't let it push you back onto your bum and then you just stay there. Anyway, he did <laughs> brought up a lot of past memories, a lot of emotions, but don't let it drag you down. Never, never, never let anything that negative that someone will say drag you down. Because 99.9% .9 of the time, that person that's speaking negatively wants to be in your shoes. Oh yeah, for the haters, keep hating, because I'm gonna keep growing mentally and physically. Boom, I'm out. Remember to always be true, no matter what you do. I run it, I never front it. I got my whole cool.